Hi everybody, hope you're having a good day. Just want to let you know how the manufacturing process of whey differs from Isopure, which uses ion exchange, and Nutribio, which uses cold press or microfiltration to make whey protein powder. Ion exchange filtration involves chemical treatment in order to separate proteins from other nutrients. Heat is generally used which is another aspect that could denature proteins. The reason why companies use it is to save on costs and to get a leaner form of protein stripped of carbs and fat. Isolate proteins are generally going to be on the expensive side as it's filtered more than hydrolyzed or whey concentrate. Other kinds of filtration processes don't allow the ease of selecting what is to be filtered and what is not, but ion exchange does. That's probably why companies use it. And this process also changes like the structural form of proteins when regulating the desired pH. This can probably have negative effects on the quality of protein, its digestibility and growth. Uh, this, power, this protein powder at its leanest doesn't have a lot of vitamins and minerals compared to others. Some brands do mention about filtration processes in their labels and some don't. Well, this specifically mentions that it does not use ion exchange, but I'm but I'm assuming that it uses cold filtration, cold cold press or microfiltration. On the other hand, cold filtration isn't as harsh as ion exchange. Well, most importantly, no chemicals involved. Instead, they use membranes to filter out micronutrients. This separates the larger particles from the micro-sized nutrients, kind of like a stainer. And uh, this will actually be on the better side. Uh, I would go for, this is subjective. I'm not recommending either of these proteins to you. Please do weigh out the odds and choose what is suitable for you. But I, on the other hand, personally would choose cold filtration reason being even though it doesn't this process doesn't yield the highest proportion of protein i'm um, just safe to assume that it doesn't denature the proteins and uh, thanks for watching hope this video was of some use to you